people and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kiyura and if this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching please hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos I post videos on an array of topics every single Wednesday and Saturday for today's video as you can see I'm kind of looking all like in comfy clothes and my hair is up and stuff like that and from the title as well you can see that today's video is going to be a hair and skin routine i've gotten many questions about what my how i keep my skin looking kind of clean and also why my hair is so thick or why it grows fast and i'll insert a picture here of what my hair used to look like it was like near my bum area <laughs> and my hair was quite long especially because i'm a dancer so i grew it that long but obviously i had to keep up with my hair quite a lot and so that's what today's going to be. I hope that you guys enjoy and let's keep watching. Okay, so I just took my hair out of my grip. I don't really tend to use thin bands. I only use grips and uh, scrunchies as they are less like brittle at the ends of where you are tying your hair. So I just took that out and I also just brushed my hair. Um, I really like having brushes that have like a thinner bristle. So I just got this one from, I think it was Clicks, but yeah, that's what I did. So as an Indian sure you guys will all know my hair routine kind of starts the night before and it starts with coconut oil hair coconut oil this is the brand I use it's called Preetham <laughs> coconut oil the natural nourisher but any hair coconut oil that is more organic and not just a chemical based is really good for your hair so I usually just take quite a lot in my hand actually but I think I do it like in a bit of sections and I just kind of take like I'd say that much and I just rub it into my hands and I just kind of put it um, at the roots of my hair first and I work my hair back and I massage it in and so while I am doing that I just want to actually you don't want your hair to look like it's actually watered so you just want to kind of put it in and make sure that you get your ends and everything so while I am doing that, I actually wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my background of my skin and my hair. So my granny, first of all, used to do this kind of coconut oil thing for me, probably with all my cousins, like from the time that we were like really young. Like I'm pretty sure, I'm not even yet really young, like we came out of the womb and she would like be there with her brush and she'd um, sit and... Um, kind of put coconut oil in my hair, she'd heat it on the stove or she'd just bring her own and she would put it in our hair and she would put it in a fish plate which is what I'm going to do now and I probably continued with that tradition up until I was about 15 and thereafter, let's be honest, I just got really um, lazy and I just kind of left my hair, I neglected my hair quite a lot and my hair started falling out and so I started doing this I only wash my hair once a week because one my hair is super thick so um it doesn't get as oily or dirty as quickly as if i had to have thinner hair and also if you wash your hair too often it actually strips your scalp of the other like oils that the natural oils that actually keep your hair healthy and clean and so i only do this about once a week and i also have a trim for my hair every six months so if I tell you guys, I had hair that was up to my, like, my, my bum area, like, probably two years ago, and that grew in about three years, because I had it actually cut here, like, when I was 16, and then by last year, or my, by the time I was 18, it actually, like, came out, um, I mean, it <laughs> grew out quite fast, and then I cut my hair at the beginning of last year, actually, to here, so my hair's grown about this much in a year and a half, and in between that time, I actually trimmed my hair quite a lot. So my hair does grow quite fast, especially because I do um, cut it and have it have it trimmed every uh, six months just to get rid of the dry hair. And kind of that's all for my hair actually about the upkeep that I have. I don't use a lot of products in my hair. I do not use dry shampoo. I do not use tons of like setting sprays or hair sprays or um, like, you know, those straightener heat sensitive sprays because I don't blow dry my hair. I probably only blow dry my hair like if it's like downpouring rain and I've washed my hair. But probably 98% of the time I do not use a hair dryer unless I go to maybe like a salon as well 
I do not flat iron my hair probably maybe only once or twice like every four months that's how much I straighten my hair I much prefer my hair to be the wavy curls that it is or just you know let it sit by itself but I usually just sun dry it and I also just like dry it with my um, towel but that's basically my hair like background in terms of my skin I'm very thankful I did not have acne growing up or when I came off age and I'm very thankful for that so um, this skincare routine does work for my skin but if you have acne and stuff like that I cannot guarantee that it will work for your skin but I'd like for you guys to maybe take tips or um, try to find a better way of not more naturally like taking care of your hair rather than just adding products to your skin or your hair and so with my hair um, I mean my, my skin I also had eczema growing up so I used epizone and uh, pure soap for the majority of my life as my um, as my skin care routine because I could not use scented things both me and my sister I think I spoke about it in one of my videos we had very sensitive skin with scented things or just things in general um, we were allergic to quite a lot of um, perfumes and body powders and baby creams and just body cream in general so I don't I don't even really use shower gel I use just my pure soap still which is I think vegan in some cases because it's quite um, natural but just check the ingredients with yourself so yeah I use pure soap on my like body my skin and I also used to take castor oil almost every single month as a way to clean up my digestive system and I also drink a lot of water like if you ask my friends and I even did it in my sister's sleep video my sister and I have extremely ex well not my sister actually me I have a very tiny bladder and another thing that accounts to it is that I drink like so much of water in the day that just keeps my skin hydrated and things like that and so um, that kind of goes with Ayurveda I'm a very big reader of Ayurveda which basically says that you need to introspect to find out why your body or whatever is kind of um, breaking out or why you may have like stomach pains or why you may have um, skin rash or things like that. It's usually tied to um, what your body internally is. So having castor oil and drinking a lot of water helps to flush out the toxins and prevent it from building up and clogging your pores. And so that's why I didn't really ever... I um, mean, that's why I did take castor oil almost every month, or even Brooklax is really good. But obviously, only maybe once a month, or maybe every once every two months. Don't take it regularly, that's not really good for your digestive system. I also don't really ever wear makeup, I only wear makeup for my dance um, concert or if I am going out. But yeah, I hardly ever wear makeup, and I probably only started using like proper skincare products um, around last year. So that might seem late to you guys, but I let my skin kind of be, um, not be always clogged up. And the earlier that you start with using a whole lot of products in your skin, the more dependent your skin is going to become. This is just my personal opinion. The other thing is that I hardly ever wear buns. Again, I only use buns for dance because that's what we required, but I hardly ever put like twirling buns because that tends to create split ends. And so, yeah. So now I am just going to plait my hair. Disclaimer, I don't really actually plait my own hair because, I don't know, my arms are just too short. I have tiny fingers. They just like get in the way. So I usually ask my mom or my sister to plait it. So one, I'm going to go ask one of them to fish plait it for me and I'll be right back. So I just finished actually doing my fish plait myself. It's not the most neatest and it's definitely not as tight as I usually like it but my mom is busy and my sister has nails on so she was like I can't do it enough rambling so yeah that's all I do for the night before for my hair before I wash my hair the next morning so now moving on to my skin routine I just took my butu off which was my dot and so the first thing I want to show you guys is that usually if I am wearing makeup I'm not wearing any today my hair is just I mean my face is just naturally like this now so but if I do wear makeup I really like using the African extracts rooibos oil free makeup remover and basically it's a vegan cruelty free product that is proudly South African so I'm reducing my carbon footprint because I don't need to import anything 
and it's not expensive as other makeup removers so yeah i use that but because i don't have any makeup on today i'm not going to use that but what i do put on almost every single evening is actually it's from the same brand of african extract but it's the second another line part of them so it's also vegan cruelty free and um inexpensive and local and it's just the vanishing cream but yeah that's basically what i use and i absolutely love the texture of this it doesn't make your skin feel oily afterwards or anything like that but basically some is actually just stuck to the container so i'm just going to take a little bit so what i actually do is i actually take quite a little i don't um put a lot and i'll probably just like put that onto my face and i just really rub it in really nicely um i also don't rub my skin downwards i try to keep going up because that avoids my skin from being wrinkled when i get older and like for, it just can't act like gravity's <laughs> own stuff so i just put that in i don't put a lot and i just rub it in into my skin upwards or in circular motions <laughs> and so yeah i just rubbed that in quickly and i actually forgot that i needed to show you guys what i use if i do ever get any pimples um i actually should have done it before using my cream but it's life and i make mistakes so i just finished putting that in and i just took some some manja or turmeric and I put it in this container with like maybe two or three drops of water, just depending on how many pimples you want to put this on. And this works as a very good antiseptic and antibacterial for helping to dry out and disinfect your pimples. So what I'm going to do is you just take quite a little bit, like maybe a little bit like that. And I actually have a pimple here, which is actually so sore, <laughs> but I just take a little bit and I put it on that area, right? And it should be like a paste, right? That just sticks onto that pimple, right? So you just keep it there. And I also have one here. And so I'm just going to put that there. And basically, you just leave this on for like 10, 15 minutes. And um, then you're just going to wash it off with some um, lukewarm water. And I don't put on soap when I take this off because it'll obviously undo all of the things that this turmeric or manja has done for your skin. So that wraps up kind of like my night routine. And I also use the, since it is COVID that is going on, the hand sanitizer that I also always put on in the night before I go to bed. It's just the Oso oh Heavenly Clean Start Hygiene Waterless Hand Sanitizer which is vegan and cruelty free and so yeah i just it smells so good it's lime and cucumber which is like just so refreshing to smell before you go to bed so i just put that on as well and the lip eyes that i do like using is carmex and carmex is not vegan unfortunately but it is cruelty free i did research that before buying this and so i just put a little bit on to my um lips it just really keeps my, my lips really moist and i used to use vaseline quite a lot for my lips and actually it's not really good to use in the night if you're still going to be in the sun because petroleum and the oils in it actually darkens your your lips um and so i stopped using vaseline about i don't know how long ago but yeah i use comics to avoid that from happening and so yeah, I'm just going to go wash this off in about 10 or 15 minutes and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I do my actual hair care and my morning skin routine. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. I just finished washing my hair and so I'm just going to get right into it. I don't brush my hair straight after um, washing my hair. It just, I see that my hair tends to fall out a lot. So I rather just leave it in this and then eventually just let it dry by itself in the sun. And today's a sunny day, so thank God. But I haven't applied anything to my skin. Usually I would have already before changing. But I needed obviously to show you guys. So the hair shampoo and conditioner that I do use is um, Garnier's Ultimate Blends Conditioner. Which is a delicate soother and delicate oat. I do know that Garnier is not a um, 
good vegan brand but their skin products do work for my hair i am in the market for good vegan alternative uh, shampoo so if you do know that please put it down in the comments below so i just usually use the shampoo about two or three times um just until i can feel that when i brush my hair to the sides it makes like a squeaky sound that's how i know like there's no more um coconut oil left or it's not greasy anymore i don't know if that makes sense and then usually i put conditioner once and i just rub it through my hair and i leave that in for about two minutes or so and in that time i do i like um scrub my body with actually two sponges just depending on the day so in the morning i use um like a normal sponge or loofah i think that's what americans call it um and i'll insert a picture here if you don't know what i'm talking about but that's what i use in the morning but in the evening i use more of a scrubber and i'll insert a picture here just so that um it exfoliates my skin and also takes up all the toxins and chemicals and things that would have been my skin would have been exposed to in the day so that is what i use in like as sponges and the face wash that i use is just the african extracts um, spot control and face wash i'll insert a picture here but it's still from the same line and all of these african extract rooibos um, things i told you already it's vegan cruelty free um, probably South African and inexpensive but also the ingredients that they do use are the ones that a lot of people are saying that it's good for skincare which is like witch hazel um, psychosylic acid things like that that actually help your skin and don't actually just dry it out and stuff and so uh, using a little bit of this face wash actually does go a long way so it can last you a long time so it really is value for your money and then um, that's basically all that I use for my skin and hair in the shower. I don't really tend to use a lot because again, I don't want to strip my hair or my face off its natural oils. Then when I come out of the bathroom, I will use a moisturizer and a sunscreen. So I do use the moisturizer again by African Extract. I really do love their line and what they stand for and also how it feels for my skin. I mean you get a lot of vegan products which might not always work for your skin but this like is all encompassing. I'm so sorry for Cody barking. Um, but again it's just the African Extract Rooibos Dual Action Moisturizer with bioactive rooibos and baobab um, extract and so I actually use a little bit of it I probably like use like I'll show you like just a bit of that much and the sunscreen that I use is the sun lab water and sun I honestly could not find if it is vegan or cruelty free there weren't any articles on it I literally just like went on to four websites trying to find it so if you do know that it's vegan or cruelty free please let me know but also let me know if you know any vegan or cruelty free um, sunscreens that you may use and then I can always just try them out and see how it works but I just do one squirt of that in my hand I can't really show you but I'll just like mix those together and again, I told you, I don't, unless like I'm applying it on, I don't really, um, what's the word, uh, rub downwards. I rub again in just circular motions or upwards because again, I, I'm trying to avoid wrinkles. I know I'm only 20 and I shouldn't think of that, but you always should rather prevent it than being sorry. So yeah, I'm just going to rub this in. So I finished rubbing it and it does look a bit oily now but eventually it'll just kind of absorb into my skin and it'll become better. And then the last two products that I actually use is, I've spoken about it before and I said it just now, I really do suffer with, did suffer with eczema when I was younger. So the products that I can use on my skin are fairly limited, especially even with body lotion. So the body lotion that I do use is the Ingram's Moisture Plus, I'll insert a picture here. And I couldn't find if it's vegan or cruelty free because sometimes glycerin cream can be just from a plant extract. But obviously, I don't know the exact um, uh, extract used for glycerin. But I have to use this because of the allergies that my skin does have. And I usually just rub this around on my body. And a little goes a long way with this as well. 
so I just opened my hair now and you can see like my hair is already kind of nearly dry because I did keep it in here but what I do like doing um, just to help the hair like you know dry up a bit faster is I will just take my towel and I will just rub the ends really lightly and pull it down and that just helps or like I'll do the top here and I'll just take that around and basically that is all for my hair and skin routine it's not that complicated or anything like that it's quite simple again I say the less products you use the less things that you do to your hair and your skin um, the less dependent it will be again I'm not a dermatologist or a skin specialist or anything like that this is just what I have learned from my own sensitive skin and also what just works for my skin this if you use the skin routine it is not always guaranteed that it is going to work for you but again any of the products that I've listed here that aren't vegan or cruelty free please 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 leave comments down below telling me if you have alternatives for me I would be more than happy to try them out I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe as well as share it with your friends or anyone else that might need these tips and um, products that I can review and I hope that you guys have a week filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity and good hair and skin care. Love you guys a lot. Bye!